Hey everyone, Austin here again with another Let's Play video, or an attempted Let's Play video anyway. This is Robo Recall for the Oculus Rift, and this is a pretty awesome game. It comes free with the Oculus Rift with purchase, and uh, it's one of my most played games on this headset. Uh, I've had my Oculus Rift for a few months now, and uh, this is definitely my most played game. So we're going to play a couple of levels from this game. It's not going to be a full Let's Play, even though I, I probably could do that. Uh, it would probably take us an hour or two to get through. Um, but yeah, basically what I'm going to do is going to play a few stages. I'm going to sort of explain what goes on. And um, yeah. So one thing I did want to try to figure out is if I can turn off v uh, vibration. And you can, mainly because this microphone is going to really pick it up. So we turned that off. Let's go ahead and hit play. And we'll just go ahead and... Um, We'll do my existing save file. I'm just going to play through the first three stages. Um, yeah. So, I apologize that this uh, mic setup is not that great. I actually tried this once already with the, the built-in Oculus Rift microphone. But, uh, unfortunately, it just, you know, was not having it. It sounded pretty awful. Um, so, we're actually using a blue snowball mic right now, which is a few feet away from me. So, it might not pick me up the best. So Robo Recall is like a first-person shooter kind of game, um, except you're stuck in place. Um, by using the left analog stick on the Oculus Rift touch controller, you can actually um, basically teleport around. So the second you start moving the left analog stick, it brings up this little teleportation um, ring. And uh, you, you can move the analog stick around, that's where the arrow is pointing. And... Uh, and once you let go, you will teleport and look in that direction. So we're going to look up the staircase, just like so. And we're going to look back. And of course, you can look around, you know, the whole time, uh, like so. I'm actually having a hell of a time with this thing because uh, my lenses keep fogging up, and I don't know why. Uh, it's like the second I start talking, the lenses fog up, and it makes it really hard for me to actually see anything. This is the first time I've had this issue, although I did uh, just take a shower right before doing this um, this video. So, so you've got uh, multiple triggers on your Oculus Rift touch controllers, and I think I literally just bumped into the mic. <laughs> Let's step back a little bit. Um, yeah, so you've got multiple triggers on the touch controllers. You can press the bottom trigger to basically grab items from a distance. And, uh, yeah. And I just picked up paper, apparently. That's interesting. Okay, let's uh, just get to the main game, though. Because I'm sure that's what most of you guys want to see. So you basically come to this uh, little little setup right here. And then this takes you to all of your uh, main things. Like your weapon setup, your missions. And there's a little gun range here. Where you can practice, practice shooting. Just like so. And... Uh, I'm gonna go back up top here, and weapons. What I'm gonna do is um, do the laser sight on that. I should actually, I'm gonna do magazine and hollow sight. I don't really need hollow sight. Compensator, sure. And we can grab that and equip it. And now we can go to, uh, we will hit B to go back. We'll go to the shotgun. Magazine, recoil, and choke, and we will pick that and put that up here. So you basically have uh, you have guns on your holsters, and then you have shotguns on your back, and um, you literally lift the controller up and grab the shotguns from behind you, and then your pistols you grab from down below, uh, basically your regular pistol or your revolver. So that's pretty much it. We're gonna go ahead and go to one of our missions do city center batch recall mission one one to them. Ready to recall? and uh what's cool about robo recall is it keeps tabs of your high scores and it tracks you uh with your friends and things like that um you can also change the time of day i'm not sure if that's something that's available right away um, also, there's challenges you can try to complete. So you can see I've completed four out of the five challenges. Then there's a special sixth challenge. Um, actually, I don't even know if that's an actual challenge because uh, I haven't unlocked them yet. The All-Star Performer. 
Um, but exceeds expectations, complete the mission with 2 million points. Uh, I'm still learning the scoring system in this game, uh, so I haven't been able to do that one yet. So let's go ahead and just start mission. Good luck out there, Agent 34. Yeah, so VR is really cool. I, um, you know, like I said, I got my headset a couple months ago, and I've, I've really enjoyed a lot of games on it. Um, Robo Recall is by far my favorite. Uh, it's the one I come back to the most because it's, it's an arcade-style game with, with an emphasis on scoring, and um, you know, you have a lot of flexibility in how you can take out enemies in this game as well. It's also uh, very immersive. One, go! Alright, so we're gonna teleport over here, grab our holsters, or our gun holsters. And I can just drop them, I can grab my shotguns up here, like so. You can juggle enemies in the air. You can also grab bullets and fling them back at enemies. Let's grab those. When you're flinging bullets back or trying to throw things, you want to kind of you want to operate it like it's a Wii mode or something like that. So if I want to throw something straight forward, I want to push my arms forward and let go like I'm punching. You can also try to throw it like normal, uh, like if you're throwing a baseball or something, and that works too. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and teleport. You can also teleport on top of places and then look down. It's kind of trippy actually when you're actually in the headset. Well, <laughs> you actually feel like you're high up. It's it's really cool. All right. You can teleport right behind enemies. You can also do melee attacks. And melee attacks are actually really important for building your score multiplier. In the bottom left-hand portion of the screen, there's a multiplier. So we're at 5x multiplier right now. These guys will, uh, they will explode in your face, but you can pick them up and basically use them as, uh, grenades, like that. Alright, where are the other guys at? Rip his head off. You can see how you can use the teleportation function to get around quickly. You use it as a strategic thing as well. For one, you use it to get away from guys that are locking onto you, nice. but you also use it to get a better position. Like, I want to get behind him, and I'm going to grab him, boost my multiplier. area needs to be cleared. Okay, so now we need to clear this area. Where? Oh, it's over there. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I only have one sensor in my oculus. Not not one. Two sensors. Third. I need one more sensor in my rib to, ha to have a total of three, uh, which will give me better movement. Once, If I try to get really low, the, the guns start to, like, get all jerky, and a third sensor will help with that. I also need to position my sensors higher, although with my current apartment setup, I don't know if I'm going to actually do that. So we're just teleporting all over the place. Oh, come here. So we're at 7x multiplier, and I want to keep building that if I can. Also, when you, when you bring your uh, left analog stick out to try to teleport, you sort of go into like a bullet time mode, or a slowdown mode. Everything slows down a little bit. The other Sixty seconds 
You want to constantly be teleporting so you don't take hits. Every time you take a hit, you lose a multiplier. And your multipliers are really important. Multiplier. Agent, 30 seconds left. Nice. So you can actually throw your guns at enemies as well, and if they hit them, the the gun will bounce off and you'll get uh, all your ammo back. She's constantly teleporting. Only ten more seconds. All right, I'm looking around. I hear guys. You met the recalling criteria. Now, if you can attack enemies as they're running away, you get a lot of points. Yeah, I just got twenty-seven thousand for that one. Move to the next objective. Okay, where's the next objective? Down there. They're constantly teleporting. I'm trying to think of like what else is there I can explain about the game. Has a shotgun. Customer is being unreasonable. It wasn't using that anyway. So you can really see how this is kind of like an old school like light gun game. But with just more control. You know, it's a very similar kind of experience. You know, when you run out of ammo, your guns just respawn. Whoa. You can also smack bullets away with your gun. All right, so the next objective I think is right here. There we go. Our plans may become evident if we can analyze enough functioning robots. Please collect as many as possible. Okay, so now this is interesting. You have to actually throw the robots into that portal. And this is actually the last Three, wave two, for this level. One, go! Please deposit item in this tractor beam. We cannot serve your needs this way. The callouts are really funny in this game too. So it's just constant teleportation. Whoa, I think I hit the mic. Sorry about that guys. Seconds left. Customer service agent. Agent 34, the legend. Release customer service. Oh man, you are too good, partner! Customer Oh, I took another hit. Lost the multiplier. We're down to 8x. Alright, let's get back closer up here. And you can also bob and weave too, if you have the room. Oh, 
Oh man. Only ten more seconds. Only ten more seconds. Five, three, six, seven, eight, Overachiever, Agent 34. Four. Three. Alright, and those guys run off here. Collection criteria. I'm gonna try to take them out. Extra points at the end. And that's it. So that's the mission. Uh, 1.6 mil. Yeah, so keeping your multipliers up is really important if you're trying to um, meet the uh, the goals and get high scores. So like, I was still 400,000 points off from the, uh, reaching that goal. Um, now, depending on how well you do, you also get extra points. So you can see that you get a thousand points for every percentage of accuracy you get. So up to 100,000 points for 100% accuracy. You get extra points for killing, you know, the most amount of enemies or a greater amount of enemies. You also get bonus points for finishing it, I think, faster. I think the shorter is the more points you get. Um, and then if you actually complete your objectives, um, you get an extra 100,000. So, but there we go. Let's go back, continue to hum. We'll do the next level. And this is basically the whole game. It just gets harder and harder and harder. Uh, more enemies appear. And, um, you know, more enemies are introduced, uh, there's boss fights, uh, mainly one boss fight, you just do it repeatedly. So we're gonna come back in here and teleport right back there! Alright, um, so let's go ahead and actually give myself a couple of different weapons. We'll do the, uh, we'll do the energy rifle instead of the shotgun. And then we will do the pimped out revolver. Uh, as you complete objectives uh, or, or goals, you get stars and the stars basically allow you to unlock uh, other, other functionality, greater functionality for your weapons. So double shot is the next one for the revolver. Uh, revolver is not my favorite because it has less ammo than the pistol but it is more powerful. Um, all right, so let's go to missions. Actually, did I? Yeah, I already did. Okay, I don't know. Sorry, I'm going brain dead. All right, so city center, we'll do short circuit. Is erupting. We must defend this Complete area. the mission with two million points. Don't let the robo re relay take damage. That's actually the last part of this mission. Uh, since we did uh, nighttime in the last one, we'll do daytime. On this one. Hold for teleport, Agent 34. Yeah, so Robo Recall, it's a super fun game. Ooh, a little bit of jitter. I'm actually a little bit farther away from my sensors than I normally am. I just don't want to smack the mic. Robo Ready has analyzed the data. Which I've already done once. And constructed a Robo Relay to but Yeah, the game is the super area. fun. The graphics are pretty amazing. Um, Three. And the soundtrack is awesome too. It's just Agent such a good game. Okay, I can't universe. play the boss. Hold for Customer is aggressive. Get back here. Power. So it's all about those points. So I want to get those. It's got me. To serve. Products from this area. Robo Ready All right. team of analysts have determined that there is a surge of rogue robots. In so yeah, you can see the uh, the Please revolver. Recall as many it's as pretty cool. Can. We need to recall twenty or more robots. Three, two, 
One, go! In the air! Please keep it on the screen. Here's the uh, energy rifle. Pretty cool gun. Alright, where is he? Here's someone's on. Oh, there he is. There they are. Oh, I didn't know they explode. That's actually really cool. That's actually really awesome. I had no idea the uh, the rifle re uh, exploded like that. That's awesome. Yeah, that's good points too. So the spider guys, they basically just, they hop right in your face. Think like face huggers, like uh, from Alien. But again, you can pick them up. Bam, just like that. The next I hear something, but I don't see something. It's weird. Be careful, Agent. All right, this is sort of like a mini boss coming up in a way. Heading your way. Look out, Agent! Incoming. Use the energy rifle. So you got to shoot his weak spots. They're glowing. Well, the energy rifle doesn't seem to do a whole lot there. Remove the indicated panel to take control of the big box. Alright, so we're gonna take this panel off. Now we have control over this guy. He shoots a laser that's extremely powerful. I'm getting a ton of points for this too. We're at a 9x multiplier. Alright, let's teleport out. Let's try to keep our multiplier up. Get over here. Over here, thank you. With the fists. Customer is a and move to the intersection, Agent 34. Alright, this is our last section here. Thank you, sir. Gun to the face! 
Strikes. Ready. Would like you to pass by this area by deploying a robo relay. All right, so now we need to uh, deploy a robo relay. Please move to it and activate it. And the goal here is to have it not take any damage. I haven't been able to do that yet. But we'll see what happens. Three. We're probably not gonna get it. It's a really, it's really tough to do this without this thing taking damage. It took damage, so I failed the mission. Get over here. Yeah, it's one reason I don't like playing with the revolvers, because you have limited ammo, and they're not as accurate. The guns snap back, and, uh... Seconds remain. Damage has been inflicted on the Robo Relay. Thank you for it. Trying to keep my multiplier up. I need to do more melee attacks. Skeletons, keep your Going to pieces! Power down. Those headshots are worth a lot of points right now. Wow, 20,000 a pop. It's because I'm at 8x. We might actually get the two we might actually get the point goal for this. It's amazing. Teach him to think. So that'll teach him to think. Some really funny call outs in this game. Alright. That's it. You surpassed all expectations, Agent 34. You may teleport to the office. Very nice. So now the last one I need to do is try to do that Robo Relay mission without it taking damage, which is really, really hard. All right, so we're gonna do the last level for this uh, this first area, um, and it's basically the boss fight. Agent 34, you're back. Robo Ready is pleased. All right. So this office, there's not really a whole lot to do. It's just kind of like, uh, sort of like a demonstration area. You, you can just teleport around, look at things. You know, it's it's a good introduction to you know virtual reality. You know, VR. It's all about feeling like you're in the place that, uh, well, you're in. So it's pretty neat. And if you go back to the beginning here, not beginning, but this area, you can you know practice some melee attacks and get used to how you grab enemies. So again, there's two triggers on the Oculus Rift controller, and you press the bottom one to grab, just like that, and then you can just pull, like so. I think those are the only grab points. Just like that. So yeah, this area basically lets you get used to the, the controls, get a handle on things and whatnot. So yeah. All right, last stage here. 
And weapons. What are we going to do here? We'll go back to the shotgun. And, um... Go back to the pistol. We'll do everything with the pistol. So we get with the pistols are fully automatic now, and it's very very rapid fire. So I'm showdown. Some kind of anomaly. This might be important. All right. Let's do this. Have a nice recall mission. And remember, Robo Ready values you. Tip, the higher your multiplier, the more points you earn for recalls. <laughs> uh, all right. So in VR, there's a lot of games like this that really excel sort of anomaly in, in VR. You know, gun games are really, really fun. You know, you've got full arm and uh, hand movements. You can you Three, use your body two, and step to the side. Go! Stop! What is he doing? Trying to get my multipliers going. We're at 5x. Yeah, I love the music in this game too. It's so good. It really gets you in the mood. Move to the intersection, Agent 34. Look out, Agent. Incoming. It's gonna be this big guy here. That robot has a powerful shield in the Get ready for a tough opponent. Destroy nice recall. Great. Move to the next location. Alright, so this is the boss fight. Actually, not quite yet. Lost my multiplier. Or I went down one. These rocket guys, man. Alright, we're not gonna get the million point uh, goal, unfortunately, because I've taken a bunch of hits. You've captured the interest of Odin. Alright, this is the boss fight. Please find and recall him. Have you seen the internet? <laughs> he must be crazy. Cat pictures, hashtags, memes. Yes, I saw it all. And I knew then that it must be mine. Watch out! You can really tell that the game doesn't take itself too seriously. Alright, so right now we need to grab the rockets and throw them at him. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is focus on trying to get my multiplier back up. There they are. Just lost 
line. Man, stop walking away. Customer is Oh, more guys out now. Such robots, much Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to hit the million points. Return to the office, please. Oh, we did! Just barely. Awesome. Alright, so now I need to do that mission another five minutes and finish it with 75% accuracy at a minimum. So, alright. That is pretty much Robo Recall, guys. Uh, like I said, we're just going to do those three stages. If you want to see more of this, if you want to see the rest of the game, you know, I'll be happy to go through the th with this uh, or go through with it uh, in the future. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. This is sort of like a, a test. Um, it, the thing with VR is that it's really difficult to record the audio, like the voice. Um, the gameplay and stuff like that is not really an issue um, thanks to, you know, OBS and, and uh, you know, desktop recorders like that and whatnot. Um, but let me know what you thought of this. Uh, let me know if you want to see more. Uh, I'll try to upload these. If I do more of them, I'll try to upload them on off days, like not not my usual Sunday Let's Play days. Um, like maybe I'll, I'll do them on Tuesdays or something like that. Occasionally, not every not all the time, but it is something that's fun to do every now and then. And if you guys enjoyed this, if it didn't make you too nauseous, uh, let me know. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and. Uh, I'll see you soon. Robo Recall.